Lazy, absolute lazy. Welcome back to Carp Interest, Season 1, Episode 3. Today, you will join us again on Stubby Lees, but this time we're a team. Me and Liam are both here today. Been here now for a couple of hours, managed to lead about, find some new spots. Um, we've switched swims today. Pete's gone into number three. Um, I've come into number two. The wind has been blowing into us all day, so it's a good sign that it's going to push the fish over. The air pressure is around the thousands. So for now, we're just going to go and get the kettle on, a uh, quick brew, and then sit back. Hopefully, it pays off. How are you going to wear it? Yeah, for when I'm out in. So I don't uh, get anything down the path interest, put it. Mate, there's so many fish around there. Look at it. As you can see, we have new additions to the, the vlogs. Carp interest hoodies. Uh, we chuffed with them, ordered them a couple of weeks ago, finally come. RRP, 699. But if you order today, we get you in for 500. Oh, in front of yeah, yeah. Try again, come on. Cinematic. Come on. <laughs> You do this, you do this more than me. <laughs> Who is the winner of the draw? I would ask you if one, there isn't a one six three one. Um, so we're gonna redraw two six three three. Right. I swear this happened before on a cash draw once, it just took ages. So tell us one of your memorable fishing memories. Memorable fishing memories. Off the top of your head now. The what? number one thing that I remember is you getting attacked <laughs> by ducks. <laughs> yeah. That is the absolute highlight of my whole fishing time, completely. That was incredible. It was pretty, well... Amazing. Was. You know, when I think back, I look, I look back at you to see if you'd actually seen what had happened. <laughs> and you was like doing that laugh where you weren't breathing. Well, I was on the floor. <laughs> I was literally on the floor rolling. I've never seen anything so funny in my life. Roll the clip. Oh, lads. <laughs> 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 
So there's not many things in the fishing world that me and you disagree on. I think that's safe to say, isn't it? Majority of the time. Yeah. But the one thing that I think we do... It's a long <laughs> one. <laughs> Take two. Action. Yeah, go. So I think... It, uh, they just started last time because it's any good. Majority of the time we don't know how to disagree. Something like that. So I think majority of the time, in the carping world, there's not many things that we disagree on, is that I think that's fair to say. Majority of the time. Yeah. But I think there's, there's definitely one thing that we've got contradicting views on, and that's... The wafter. The wafter, the way the hook sits when using so you, the wafter. So you explain to the camera how you So, so to, to me, the best way, and I'll explain why I think this is the best way as well, the hooks, the, the hook point is down, the wafter sat above it, so the point is is on the deck. Scratching away, getting blunt. No, see, because I, I believe w once the fish has sucked the bait up, the hook is in the prime position to catch the bottom lip. Mm. It's, I, it's, I already, it's I, poised, it's ready to go. I see what you're saying. And, I, and I completely agree in what you're going to say now. The, it, it's not even as though we can't. Yeah, yeah, I know we, what you're saying. We're conflicted because I would quite happily fish a rig the way you say it's best fished, but I disagree that it's the best way to fish it. So yeah. you talk us through now. So basically, my wafter would be the hook sat flat with the wafter above it. So I know when he says the hook is in prime position already, but I still believe when he, as soon as it's sucked, it's turned. It's it's, it's there already, but as long as it's on the bottom, I'm not doing as much damage to the hook point as it would be this. And I feel like it's just less conspicuous when it's flat and it's mixed in with your, with your bait. But to me as well, if, if you're doing damage to your hook whilst it's out there, you're tightening your lines too much or... Because the, the hook wafter, shouldn't move. The wafter's moving it backwards yeah, and forwards. Yeah, it, but the, the wafter shouldn't be able to move the hook that much. Mm. I think if it's lifting your hook up like this, mm. it's too much play. No. If your hook's sat there and the wafter's there, your hook's got it. But then it's still it, it's still scraping the bottom. No, because the just hook's, scraping it from hook's the side. anchored because it's pulled the wafter down. I don't know. I don't Whereas know. Whereas the wafter's pulling your hook I don't, up. I don't disagree. Mm. I definitely don't disagree. Well, leave it down to the viewers yeah. and uh, let post us know what, what you think. Post what you think. So if you think Liam is right and how you fish your wafter yep. with a hook point touching the deck up in the air, or like Pete, myself, with hook flat, with a waft at just above it. Post in the comments, it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, let us know. Obviously, Pete, Team Pete, obviously. He's going to be wrong. Clearly. We'll see. <laughs> ah. saddens me to say there was no fish in the night or in the morning. This hasn't deterred us, we know the stun is in here and we've put back on for a 72 hour session in a couple of weeks to bring you some more content. If you did like today's vlog at Stubby Leeds for this 24 hour journey with me and Liam, make sure you're liking and subscribing and we'll have plenty of content coming soon.